Hello my friends, thank you for almost 100 subscribers, I will be doing a video for 100 subscribers shortly after that milestone arrives, but today is the recipe for chicken and rice with vegetables. To make this you will need chicken, this one was cooked the night before, a vegetable blend, this is carrots, cauliflower and broccoli. Corn, if you cut it off the cob, do not give the cob to your dog because that could cause blockages which would require surgery. And lastly, brown rice. The first thing you want to do is put two cups of water in a fairly large skillet. Once the water is in the skillet, you will want to then put the skillet onto the stove and turn the heat on and then add two cups of rice and let it cook until it's done. While you are cooking the rice, if you want the vegetables to be smaller, you can cut them up or process them or blend them up. The corn is obviously so small though, it will not need to be cut up. And you also probably don't want this completely pureed or something like that, or super duper fine, but nonetheless, you can cut it ever how small you want. With the vegetables all cut up, it's time to add everything into the skillet. The rice, absorbed all of the water in which it was cooked so I add in some olive oil to have some liquid as well as a wholesome fat. After the oil goes in I took the chicken and raked it off the bone with my knife into the skillet and break it up with my hands and after I had all of the chicken in I added in all the vegetables plus the corn, which you probably could put in some more corn than I did, but I just used the remainder of what was in the bag. Now if you make this, as you've seen me make in this video, you may want to mix it in with normal dog food because the rice content is very, very high. What you also could do if you want to feed this alone would be to add a lot more chicken and vegetables and possibly some eggshell to where when you dip out enough for a meal for your dog the rice content being high won't be an issue because of how much other stuff there is present. You could also add other additional ingredients to this to up the nutritional value as well as the overall content of it. These would include pumpkin, green peas, green beans, apples, bananas, and so on. Here's what it looks like when it's done. It only takes just a few minutes once everything's together to cook it, unless of course you want to get the vegetables tender, then you might want to cook it for a few more minutes, but probably in terms of a nutritional meal for your dog, it doesn't matter a whole lot. Here's Lucy with her first bowl of it, as well as Clary with her first bowl. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing. If you like the video, please give it a like and share it. Thank you all so much again for nearly 100 subscribers. And I will see you next week. Bye bye.